Come on, Dennis. I'm in the bathroom. Well, come on. Maybe I'll try shaving. Dennis, come here this instant. If you take a bath, don't step on my frog. Dennis, <laughs> take off your pistols and get in bed. Why don't we go down and have a bologna sandwich? Dennis, get in bed. Okay. Thank goodness. Mom, how come you always say thank goodness instead of good night? <laughs> I'm afraid of. Now hand it over. 
No, the handle first. Handle first. That was close, wasn't it? Yes, everything with you is close. Come on, get that one now. Oh. Joey, bring the paint over here so me and Mr. Wilson can get it easy. Dennis, get off this ladder. It's very shaky. Okay. We've got a very shaky ladder here, Joey. I better hold it for him. Dennis, get away from that ladder. I'm safe. Yeah, but I'm not. You will be as soon as we straighten it a little. What? Help me pull it over this way, Joey. Installed an automatic sprinkler system. A what? He buried the hose. <laughs> He's quite a guy. I'll have to go out later and dig it up. Mm, he's quite a guy, all right. If his energy were run through a wire, you could light New York City. I love him, but I'm exhausted. Will you take me to a movie tonight? Sure, honey. What do you want to see? How about the Glen Ford picture around the corner? Tonight's the last night. You want to see a western? I want to see Glenn Ford. Well, you got a Henry Mitchell. What's the matter with him? Oh, not a thing. I'm going to hold Henry Mitchell's hand, and I'm going to put my head on Henry Mitchell's shoulder, and I'm just going to relax and keep my eyes on Glenn Ford. <laughs> <laughs> Dennis, you and I are going to have to have a little talk. Why don't we go upstairs? What for? So I won't be bothered if, uh, uh, somebody comes over. All right, Dennis. What have you done now and who to? And how much is it going to cost? Mitchell? Mitchell, I want to talk to you. Uh, come in, Mr. Wilson. Well, no, I, I, I better not. Thanks to Dennis, I just stepped in the bucket of paint. I don't want to be a grouch, but Dennis is just too much for a man my age. I like to putter around the house and work with my flowers and take a nap in the afternoon. Is that too much to ask? Oh, no, no, of course not. Don't you like me, Mr. Wilson? Yes, I like you. You're full of pep, you're cheerful, you're always helping everybody. Dennis, you drive me nuts. <laughs> Mr. Wilson, uh, I'll see that Dennis stays away from you and, and let me know how much the paint costs I want to pay for. Well, just forget about the paint. Buy me a new pair of shoes. Well, send me a bill. I will. <laughs> Today is a day much like any other day, only you are here. <laughs> I'd sure like to see that picture. I've wanted to see that picture all my life. Not tonight, Dennis. Joey's seen it. Every kid in the neighborhood seen it. I'm probably the only kid in the whole world that hasn't seen that picture. <laughs> Poor kids have seen it. Orphans have seen it. Dennis, not tonight. Tomorrow? No. Why not? Because tonight's the last night, that's why. If you can't be tonight, you won't have to get a babysitter. Yes, there is that problem. They never come back a second time. If you can't get anybody, can I go to the picture? Uh, Dennis, I'll find somebody if I have to call every agency in the state. <laughs> and I'll probably have to. Haven't gotten one yet, huh, Mom? Not yet. The sitters in this town are a bunch of cowards. With a bunch of phony excuses. 
If they weren't washing their hair, they had studying to do, or they were already busy tonight. One girl even got so flustered, she told me she had a date to go pearl diving. Well, I guess I'll just have to go to that old movie after all. Give me another number quick, Henry. Honey, I don't think we ought to tie the phone up. There's still that Mrs. Porter. Her landlady said she'd call the minute she came in. Joey's mother never has any trouble getting a sitter. Dennis, there is a slight difference between you and Joey. Yeah, I guess he is a little younger. And a little better at staying out of trouble. That's one reason why I like you to play with him. Maybe some of his good behavior will rub off on you. I'll get it! No, you don't! <laughs> Henry, you get it. For luck. Hello? Hello, Mrs. Porter. <laughs> yes. Well, we were wondering if you could sit for us this evening. Uh, yes, just one. A little boy named Dennis. <laughs> well, yes, we thought it was a very nice name, too. <laughs> well, that's, that's fine, Mrs. Porter. Wonderful. We'll, we'll be expecting you in about half an hour. That's right. The address is 627 Elm. That's right. Well, thank you very much, Mrs. Porter. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. We made it! <laughs> Didn't know me, huh, Dad? Well, she's new in town. <laughs> oh, the living room's a mess. We'd better straighten it before we go. Yeah. You know, Mom, I was just thinking about good old Joey. I guess he could teach me a thing or two. He certainly could, especially about picking up toys. Come on, Dennis. I guess you're always glad to see him come over. Joey's always welcome. He's a nice, well-behaved little boy, and you could learn a great deal from him. I'd even bet you'd let him stay all night sometimes. As long as his mother says it's all right, any time. I sure am glad I have a friend like Joey. Where are you going, young man? To see if my bike's all right. Don't slam it! You can't come in, Dennis, because I cleaned the house today. Oh, I didn't come over to play, Mrs. McDonald. My mother wants to know if Joey can stay all night with me. Would you like that, Joey? Oh, I guess it'll be all right, Dennis. Hey, you run upstairs and get your pajamas and your toothbrush. Just a minute, Dennis. Okay, go on up in my room and don't make any noise. <laughs> Yes, but I hope she hurries or we'll miss the beginning of the picture. Now, Dennis, I want you to be a very good boy. Don't give the sitter any trouble. I'll be so good she won't even think I'm here. <sighs> I hope so. Then maybe she'll come back again. Uh, I, I, I think I'll go up and brush my teeth. Well, you have reformed. Isn't that the sitter? Oh, I hope so. We have to run. Mrs. Mitchell? Yes, come in, Mrs. Porter. And this is Mr. Mitchell. How do you do, How Mrs. Do you Porter? Do? <laughs> we haven't got time to play Sheriff and Outlaw now, Joey. But right now, you're going to play a better game. You're going to make believe you're me. Good night, Dennis. Be a good boy and mind Mrs. Porter. Well, good night, Mrs. Porter. Have a nice time. Oh, and are you sure everything's locked up? Sometimes I get nervous. Hi, as a drum, Mrs. Porter. Uh, good night. Good night. Oh, and uh, good luck. <laughs>
a nice little man. Come on. Child, please. yourself another seat. We thought there was only one like Dennis. right in my ear. <sighs> you don't think... No. No, it couldn't be. Projectionist, ladies and gentlemen, we've had a slut. Little boy, little boy, put that down. I know that was an exciting part, but we can't run it over. <laughs> You're darn right, I'm nervous. I'm sorry, folks. The picture will resume in a moment. Henry, I know this sounds crazy, but I'm going to phone home. Go ahead, honey. It may not be so crazy. <laughs> Mrs. Porter, this is Mrs. Mitchell. Is Dennis there? Of course. He's a perfect little lamb. The best behaved little boy I've ever been a sitter for. There hasn't been a peep out of him all evening. Is this the Mrs. Porter at the Mitchell residence? That's right. I'm holding your little son in my arms, Miss Mary Porter. Everything's fine. She says he's been a perfect lamb. Dennis? <laughs> Our Dennis? Oh, he can be sweet. Maybe we should have brought him along. Poor kid, he wanted so badly to see this movie. 
but we'll bring them along next time. This this is our night out on the town. Now you just sit back and relax and enjoy this picture. Later on we'll stop by for a bite to eat. Operator, give me the police. Hi, Joey. Hope the sitter didn't give me any trouble. Boy, was that a movie. Glenn Ford's the fastest man with a gun I ever saw. It was just like this. Whoops. That was one of my guns. Well, anyway, it was just like this. Oh, good evening, Mrs. Porter. How was the picture? Very good. I thoroughly enjoyed it. <laughs> the only fly in the oil was some youngster running around. Yes, yeah, some parents don't seem to care what their children do. <laughs> How was everything here? Oh, everything was smooth as silk with Dennis. We did have a little flurry of excitement with a prowler in the neighborhood, though. A prowler? <laughs> Oh, is everything all right? Oh, yes, the police got him, whoever he was. Oh, thank heaven for that. Oh, yeah, you thank, are, you. Porter, thank you. Oh, thank you for taking such good care of Dennis. Oh, it was a real pleasure. The next time you go out, I hope you'll call on me again. Oh, we certainly, we certainly will, will, Porter. Will, Porter. Good night. Good night. Can you imagine that? Well, she sounded like she was talking about someone else's child. Let's go up and talk it. All right. Shh. <laughs> oh, look at that. Quite a guy. Maybe a menace sometimes, but I wouldn't trade him for any other kid in the world. Neither would I. Oh, Sam, how can that be? All right, all right. Don't get so excited. Who is it? Mr. Wilson. Mr. Wilson, I'm leaving the house right now. About. Where are you going? Mr. Wilson says that he came over here to get his ladder, and but, but, but the sitter said that Dennis has been absolutely perfect. And, and, and Mr. Wilson said he found Dennis's cat pistol on the lawn, and Dennis is upstairs asleep. How can he possibly blame Dennis? Amy, slow down. I don't know what you're talking about. The police are holding Mr. Wilson on suspicion of armed robbery. I've got to go down and bail him out. Come on, George. We better get rested for tomorrow, Joel. They're starting to build that new house down the street. We gotta help them. <laughs> 